Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well and welcome back to another monthly favorites video where I look back upon the previous month and tell you all of the things that I've been loving and enjoying. And of course, as per usual, I would love it if you guys joined in by leaving a comment down below telling me what your favorite things are because I always love to know. Before we get started, if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome, you can click the subscribe button to become part of our weird magical online family. But without further ado, let's just dive straight on into it and have a look at what I've been enjoying in March. You guys know the drill by now. I am of course gonna kick it off with beauty and the first things that I want to talk about are these. Now, I'm gonna be completely transparent here between you and I. I didn't pay for these. They were sent to my house by a PR company, which was very kind of them, but I love the brand Too Faced anyway and I fell in love with these, so I had to include them in this month's favorite. So these are the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Glosses. Now, I got sent three of them, but I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really been using this one much which is in shade peach teas because I find it a little bit too light and it doesn't suit me so we'll put that one over there but these ones I want to rave about so we have this one over here which is called Papa Don't Peach love the names of them um, this one is very much of a natural nude shade and this one over here is called Tickle Me Peach which is a corally pink so I have just been going for these they make my lips feel really really moisturized which is great and the actual lip glosses are just so cute They've got these little peaches on the end of them, but they're so pigmented for a lip gloss You just don't expect that much pigment for a gloss, but they absolutely are fantastic and the smell of them You just need to smell them for yourselves. They smell They smell very much edible. I want to eat them, but that would be very bad. So yes, if you like lip glosses and you like to give your mouth a little bit of a treat and you love the smell of peaches, definitely go check these out because I am so obsessed with these. Next up are some things that I'm not sure are actually beauty, but we're gonna talk about them now anyway. So if you don't know about me, I have a little bit of a thing with germs. I like my hands to feel clean. I hate buses and trains and public transport and touching handrails. It just freaks me out. So I've always been a massive fan of antibacterial hand gels. So in March, I discovered a new brand of hand gels, which are these. I actually have them in a few different scents over here. I have Black Vanilla, um, New Wave, and then Oh My Lemon. But my favorite one, which I wanted to show you, was this one. It's pink and it's flower power. Now, I love these because a lot of the time when you buy hand gels, they can tend to smell a little bit medicated and a little bit like alcohol, and I don't really like that. But these ones smell incredible. They're very, very perfumed, which I personally love in a hand gel. So if you're a little bit like me and you're a little bit like mm, about germs and stuff like that, and you always want to feel a little bit more cleaner throughout your day, I definitely recommend these. I love them. I have them in my handbags, my cars, my house, everywhere that I can put them, I will have them. So yes, really been enjoying these a lot in March. Moving on to a couple of things that feel a little bit more magical. That's right, I have got some Wizarding World favorites this month. And the first thing that I want to talk about isn't necessarily branded Harry Potter or anything, but it very much fits into the universe. So this is what I want to talk about. You're like, wow, it's a feather. No, it's more than a feather. I found this in Paper Chase and when I saw it, I was just like, <gasps> Gryffindor! Um, I needed this because it's Gryffindor colours, it's lovely and crimson and then the end has been sort of like dipped into gold and I just fell in love, I fell in love with it. So this is a biro, it feels really great because it's quite heavy and yeah I like that it's a biro and I don't have to faff around with inks or calligraphy nibs, I just really like it and I feel very magical and majestic when I'm writing with this because I do do a lot of writing by hand, believe it or not. I know that we live in like 2017 where we have phones, iPads, laptops and computers, but I still love handwriting things and this thing just makes me feel so special. I believe I paid around five pounds for it, but if I can find it online, I will leave the link down below along with everything else in today's video. My next magical item is actually a book. So in March, JK Rowling relaunched Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them in the book form and there are differences between this one and the original one. So the original one's cover was completely 
completely different. This has been completely redesigned. And also there are six new beasts, I believe, in this book that weren't featured in the original one. Now I'm sure a lot of you have already seen Fantastic Beasts, the film, which I personally loved, but this book is not a novel in case you weren't aware. This is more of a beast's dictionary and it tells you all of the things about the beasts and how dangerous they are. It's really, really descriptive, which I absolutely love. So if you're a big fan of Fantastic Beasts and you have not read this book, I definitely think you should because you can learn a lot about all of the beasts within the magical universe, which I just think is really cool. So yes, I've really been enjoying this and yeah, just wanted to show you that little book, Most Magical. Moving on to a few bits and bobs that are quite miscellaneous and don't really fit anywhere. So the first thing in miscellaneous is this. Now, I actually have two of these. I'll show you the other one in a minute. I bought this at the beginning of March because I always forget to hydrate myself. I've always been this way. I am rubbish at being a human. And this year was one of my New Year's resolutions was to hydrate myself more and just to drink more because it's really bad not to do that. And <laughs> yeah, so I bought this bottle from New Look. I think it was about £4.50 and really nice pattern. And I fill it up with squash in the morning and then I'm good to go for the day. And sometimes I've even been filling it up twice. I know, so hydrated. I really enjoyed it so much that when I went to New Look again, I bought a second one, but in a different pattern. Um, I just think they're a godsend to me personally because they're hydrating me and they're making me want to drink more. So yes, if you struggle with remembering to drink, I definitely recommend just getting a giant bottle that's really cute and you'll remember it will help a lot. So I've been really loving these and yeah, they are most useful and practical. The last thing in miscellaneous is actually a candle. Now, I believe I bought this in Tesco's, but it's actually by Yankee Candle. Now, I love this because it's in a glass jar, which is great because it means that there's less chance of burning your house down, which is always a bonus, isn't it? So this is in scent Wild Cotton and Ylang, and it says a fresh and clean wild cotton fragrance with a delicate floral undertone, which, you know what? It's just delicious. I have this on my bedside and it's just yummy. I haven't used candles in quite a while, which is unusual because I used to be obsessed with candles all of the time. I have quite a lot of them, but I don't use them. But this one I've been using quite a bit in March and it's so fresh. Just imagine fresh sheets, the freshest, cottoniest <laughs> sheets. This is what it smells like. So I 10 out of 10, recommend this candle and I love candles that have lids because when you blow it out you can almost trap the smoke in there because I don't really like the smell of when you've blown a candle out and you can just smell sort of like smokiness. I like the candle scent. Um, so yes, I recommend this little candle. It's been a nice little thing. I love candles when it's just dark in your room and you light it and you can just see the light flickering. It's it's quite therapeutic. And my last favourite is of course a Netflix recommendation I found the coolest show this month and it's by Marvel and it's called Iron Fist and oh my god, the lead actor is mm, 10 out of 10, beautiful. Um, it's a really great show. I think I binge watched the entire season within a couple of days and I'm not even sorry. It's really, really good. It's very addictive. I'm not going to give too much away, but if you like sort of superhero type things, uh, it's so good. It's so good. I loved it. Please watch it and let me know what you think of it. It's it's amazing. But I hate binge watching things because it means that you have to wait a very long time for the next season, which makes me kind of sad. But yes, I would love it if you have any Netflix recommendations. Leave them in the comment down below. Other than that, I think that that is the end of my March favourites. And again, be sure to leave your favourites down below because I would always love to know. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you're all doing really well and you have had a good March. Let me know, have you had a good March? I hope you have. If you haven't, then there's always April. Silver linings positive thinking. But yes, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. And I will guess I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.